Sobers waits on the boundary edge. Here comes Chris Lewis to Brian Lara. He's gone for the pole, and there it is. Brian Lara has done it. The ball rockets into the boundary fence. The new world record holder is Brian Charles Lara of Trinidad and Tobago. What a moment for Trinidad and Tobago and West Indies cricket. Ten years later, at the same venue against the same opponent, Brian Charles Lara would rewrite the history books once again. You'd not only reclaim the world record for the highest individual score in an innings, but would also go on to become the first batsman in the history of Test cricket to score 400 runs. England had been tormented by West Indies' pace battery on the fast pitches of the Caribbean and they had not won a series there since 1968. Taken in the gully. Joey Campbell, the fielder, and then it goes. But the script was reversed in 2004 as it was the turn of the West Indies to crumble against the fury of the England fast bowling attack. England led 3-0 going into the fourth and the final test at Antigua. There was plenty at stake for Brian Lara and his boys as they hoped to salvage some pride against the all-conquering England side. Now this ground has very special memories uh, for you. you. Looking to turn in a good uh, individual performance again? I think it's important that I try to lead by example but also that we get a good start from the opener. So I don't mind sitting in the pavilion and watching them bat all day. I think it's important to have a, a collective effort from everyone. We need a big score first up. We batted first in all three test matches before this and haven't come up trumps. It's important we do that today. West Indies won the toss and elected to bat. Skittled out for less than 100 twice during the series, West Indies were hoping for a good start. Brian Lara did not have to wait too long in the pavilion. Coming into the middle after the fall of Darren Ganga with the score on 33, Lara had a wobbly start. Good delivery. Harmison celebrating, the keeper and the slips are celebrating, but no one else is moving. The one thing certainly that has not moved is Daryl Hare's hand. But the classy left-hander was soon on song. For the first time in the series, he showed sparks of his vintage magic. Oh, he's a, he's a fantastic player, uh, Brian Lara. He, like all the great players, he's a match winner. He can, he, can, he can take away the game from the opposition within an hour or so of batting because he's really fantastic. He's got a beautiful, great eyes and great hands. Away fine, four more. One of the fastest scoring grounds in the world, the recreation ground at St John's Antigua. I think Brian's greatest quality is his ability to hit a four from a ball which you thought was on the spot. Um, that flip pull shot he can play from, if you're just short of a length, even outside off or on the body of Brian Lara, he can easily get you for four. He makes those sorts of shots look so easy and um, the people don't really know just how much pressure he puts bowlers under and fielding teams. Well, that'll bring back some memories. 1994. That's through the offside. Like a flash to the boundary. Lara warming up here. He's on 36, 125 for two. If that'll be it. He's a 44. Test match half century is first up this series. I think he has changed as a as a batsman. He he was young, and I mean, when you're young and you're talented, you're able to flash really bright. And Brian used to come out and hit Willow all over the place and look great. But anybody looking at Brian over the last few years, he's slowed down. His 
his he, he starts his his innings very slowly and when he parts fifth day you can see him starting to dance and it's all about the dance even the spinners could not trouble him got it very fine now Hamilton will have a chase but he won't get there that's a very fine shot by Lara kept it away from the fielder and gets a boundary for it for the first time in the series West Indies batsmen were in control with Lara leading from the front at stumps on day one the hosts were comfortably placed at 208 for two with Lara unbeaten on 86 he was an ominous form and looked set for a big score First test century, I think, was 277. I think it emphasizes the difference. He may not have the power of a Viv Richards or, or, or even a Sachin Tendulkar, but his sheer desire to bat for lengthy periods and long periods and score big hundreds, it was there since youth cricket. When we played youth cricket together, I always marveled, the rest of the team always marveled at on the 19 level that Brian, once he got in and he got past 50, you always knew it was going to be a big hundred, not 101, 102, 175. Lara carried his brilliant form into the second day and started attacking the bowlers from the onset. England bowlers who dominated the West Indies batsmen throughout the series were suddenly groping for answers. And Lara starts off with a lovely off drive. Will go all the way, touch and go, and it does. Well, that's a nice start for the West Indies captain. Beautifully played, lovely shot by Lara. Placed magnificently. That's the shot of a fantastic player. He's got it away, and that's it. That's going to be Brian Lara's 25th Test hundred. Lara's stun came at a time when he was at the receiving end of severe criticism for failing to leave the side from the front. His ability to carry the team on his own uh, is is one of the one of his attributes. That's for sure. So his ability to manufacture strokes, his placement, and, and this ability to win games.